Hey guys, Levi with Trident Fly Fishing, and today we're going to be tying a soft tackle streamer. This is a fly created by Jack Gartside to catch striped bass, but it's a fly that you can use to catch largemouth bass, smallmouth bass, snook, uh, Jack Cravalli, pretty much anything that eats other fish. So we're going to start with an Arex SA280 minnow hook in the vise, and this is a size one. You can tie this fly in pretty much any size that the length of your marabou allows you to do so. So go ahead and lay a little bit of a thread base down. We're only covering about the first third of the shank here. And for thread, we're using monofilament thread, unimono by uh, unithread. This is size 4 thousandths in diameter. So go ahead and get a little bit of thread on that base or on that shank. And we're gonna start with some crystal flash and get your thread to about one eye, hook eye length behind. You can do one, one and a half, but there's not a lot going on with this pattern. So we don't really, you don't need a lot of space for it. So we're gonna start off with some pearl crystal flash. And this is a fly that you can tie in almost any color option that you want, but we're gonna do a nice sandy color. That'll be good for Northeast fishing. Again, whether it's smallmouth or striped bass, it doesn't matter. We're gonna start with two fibers really all we need and double them over just to get the most length out of it. Snip them and now you doubled your amount of fibers so we have four on either side and we're about one and a half hook eyes beyond the hook eye itself. I'm going to go ahead and tie this in on the left side. Position it and pull it over. Actually, let's go up just a wee bit more. Pull it over and wrap it onto the other side. So now you have crystal flash extending all the way back and we'll trim it up a little bit. Make it various lengths. You don't want it to just be all the same length. It tends to look unnatural that way. And if you guys like what you see and you want to see more videos like this, go ahead and hit the like button. And if you don't want to miss anything, hit the subscribe button. So now we're going to work with a strung marabou feather. This is a color sand. Again, you can do any color that you want. And if you see where the feather stem or the rachis gets a little thin, where it transfers from thin right here about where it starts to get thin, doesn't have as much width to it. Go ahead and strip that off. We won't need that. And we're not gonna tie this in down by the tip like a lot of weight or a lot of marabou wrapping gets tied. We're actually gonna tie it down by the butt right in front of that crystal flash. So get that tied in right there again at a 45 degree angle and we're gonna tie it in by the butt instead of the tip of the feather. And you'll notice there's really not a lot of room here, but we don't really need a lot of room. In fact, I can wind this back and probably start it right about there. Okay, so grab this by the tip and we're gonna wanna just palmer it forward. And whenever you're wrapping it forward, just be sure to sweep these fibers rearward so they don't get trapped, don't get caught. You want a nice flowing bunch of marabou here. It creates a really nice profile in the water and it's just a super swimmy fly. Oop, messed that up. We gotta start over. Sometimes that happens with these short uh, feather stems. So again, just sweep everything back and wrap forward. For those of you guys who use a, a Norvice or a true rotary vice, now might be a good time to uh, let that function do the work for you. So keep wrapping this. Until you get just behind the hook eye. And we'll tie it off. And when you go to tie this off, this is just how I do it. You don't have to follow suit here. You can trim it, but tie it off. Make sure that's secure and I just sweep it right rearward. All that's going to do is just add a little more fiber to this body. And again, you can you can totally cut it off, but this is just how I tie it. 
All right, so now, now that we've got that wrapped, let's take our bodkin and free out any trapped fibers. And if you guys have questions about these flies, go ahead and drop that in the comments too. Or if there is a different way that you tie this, go ahead and state that below because we do like to see what our viewers are doing at the vice and see the different tying styles that are out there. All right. And for the collar of this, we're gonna use a mallard flank feather, nice and easy. This is a dyed wood duck. It accents this sand color really nicely. But again, color with this fly is really up to what you like. So measure that. What we want is this to be about half of the marabou. And that doesn't need to be 100% exact, but it's a good rule of thumb. So go ahead and sweep these fibers back. I'll get rid of the fuzzy stuff now just to get it out of the way. Sweep these fibers back. We're gonna tie this in again at a 45 degree angle right at the tip of this feather. And while this fly only consists of about hmm, four or five materials, counting the hook and thread, everything that we're using can be found at tridentflyfishing.com. So if you're looking to get ready for some striped bass or even a smallmouth trip, I have everything you need to tie the soft tackle streamer. And this is a solid one to have in the box. It's super easy to tie and it works really well. So now that you've got that mallard tied in, go ahead and wrap it rearward or forward. I'm sorry. Again, pay attention to your fibers and get them all swept back as you wrap forward. Just gonna make the fly look nicer create a overall better profile. And one thing I, I neglected to say is you want these fibers to sweep back to about 50% of that bunch of marabou. Sometimes you'll see this fly and just this little bit of feather at the front. And I think Gartside himself actually wanted this to go about 50% of the way to the marabou. So once that's palmered, Get it tied in just behind the hook eye. And get it secure. And now we're gonna clip this stem off and sweep this back. Just create a nice little head here. And now hit it with a half hitch. And a whip finish. Right. You can go ahead and clip the thread. The fly's not actually done yet because we're going to get in there again with our bodkin and just free up any of those mallard fibers that may have been uh, trapped. It'll let your fly flow and fish a lot better if you do that. It'll look better in the water. And another one you can do is after you tie this, run it under some water and let it hang dry. Probably like the way it looks a little better. It'll get rid of some static electricity in there. It's another just thing to do. Um, but that's a uh, soft tackle streamer. I want to thank you guys for watching, and we will see you next time.